And a teacher of the Loyola Higher Secondary School in Kodambakam, Chennai, was assaulted by a mob yesterday and has been hospitalized. It has been alleged that the teacher had attacked a student for speaking in Tamil. The school denied the allegations that were made by the group and the mob thrashing of the teacher for beating the student led to protests by over 200 teachers and parents. The protesters demanded the arrest of members of the mob who were involved in the attack. School officials alleged that the mob gained entry into the school illegally and attacked the teacher. Well, if I can give you a recap of what happened inside the school premises, uh, is that the teacher had asked the students why he did not do his homework. And also there are consultant reports that the teacher had apparently hit the student because he was speaking in Tamil. But yes, after uh, uh, the teacher had hit him, he spooned and uh, he fainted inside the classroom itself because uh, after they took him to the hospital, that's when uh, the student's relative uh, confirmed to us that uh, he already had temperature and that's when the teacher hit him. He, uh, he fainted inside the classroom. But after what happened is that the student's parents had brought about uh, uh, 30 mobs inside the school illegally and thrashed the teacher and the teacher is now admitted in the Rajiv Gandhi General Hospital. So this uh, actually sends an alarming message. What kind of security measure is put in place for what happens inside the school premises? Remember, this is not the first time a teacher has been attacked. Uh, in 2011 in Chennai itself, a teacher was hacked to death by a student. So absolutely no security measures have been put for students. And the CCTV footage that uh, headlines today has also clearly points out the mob entering into the school premises and attacking uh, this teacher who is now admitted in the hospital. And this has also sent shockwaves across the state. Back to you.